What's going on, people? Joey Talks Boxing. I want to talk about a fantasy fight between Larry Holmes and George Foreman. George Foreman and Larry Holmes. Uh, let's say they both fought at their best. And, you know, it's funny because this was inspired by one of the comments in my videos. And I had thought that I always made a video talking about Larry Holmes versus George Foreman. But, you know, I never did. So here it goes. Let's say you take the 1973 George Foreman that smacked up, destroyed, and dominated Joe Frazier, and you took the Larry Holmes that fought Jerry Coney or that that era, you know, of Larry Holmes. Let's say 82 versus, you know, 82 Holmes versus 73 Foreman. What would have happened? Now, George Foreman was like a wrecking ball. Dominant, big punch, big power. Uh, great at cutting the ring off, physically strong. Larry, great boxer, mover, jab, smooth. Larry Holmes is the kind of fighter that George Foreman struggles against. As Emmanuel Stewart said, George Foreman would have had problems with Larry Holmes because Larry Holmes would have forced George to punch up, which George Foreman didn't like doing. He was much better at punching down versus smaller guys. So, do I think Larry Holmes would have beaten George Foreman? Yes. I think George would have had some early success, but I think once Larry survived that and was able to get George past the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh round later into the fight, he would have probably won a decision or possibly stopped him late. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, what do you mean? George Foreman, he knocked out Ken Norton in one round, and Ken Norton and Larry Holmes went life and death. Well, that's not very good logic to say that George Foreman would have beaten Larry Holmes because of that, because if you're going by that logic, then George Foreman should have beaten Muhammad Ali because Muhammad Ali struggled versus Ken Norton and he lost to him. And George Foreman knocked out Ken Norton in one round. So styles make fights. It doesn't go like that. So if you're asking me what I think would most probably happen, Larry Holmes probably wins.